गुड इवनिंग पृथ्वी तो प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ थोड़ा माइक्रोफोन सामने ले लो यस यस यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ प्रॉपरली यू आर क्लियरली ऑडिबल सो पृथ्वी इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ गुड इवनिंग सर माय नेम इज पृथ्वी आई एम फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश सिटी ऑफ डेस्टिनी विशाखापटन आई एम परसुईंग माय बैचलर्स फाइनल ईयर राइट नाउ बीएससी जनरल एंड आई एम आल्सो एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ एनएसएस इन माय एकेडमिक्स इट्स ड्राइविंग मी टू कोलैबोरेट विद सोसाइटी एंड इट ड्राइविंग मी टू लर्न इंटरेस्ट ऑन द सोसाइटी एंड आई एम आल्सो मच मोर इंटरेस्टेड इन लर्निंग न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड माय हॉबीज आर साइकिलिंग एंड ग्राफिक डिजाइनिंग so prithvi so you have been said that uh, you are pursuing bsc in general science right so general science in the sense uh, it is like uh, physical science like physics chemistry math or something like that or any other else like bio science yes sir in my studies i consist of mathematics physics and chemistry and some other subjects yes so okay so find now tell me uh, prithvi so why you want to uh, study why why you want to pursue this program uh, digital humanities okay ms in digital humanities yes sir like from uh, my pre university level i am much more interested in society but unfortunately i i am in the science stream but i never got a chance to combine the so- social with computational sciences after coming into my graduation i am much more interested in technology side and i also all the social activities captivated me to study the social program uh, i am searching on the different topics uh, of uh, studying of the social science i get to know that digital humanities combines with social sciences and also the technology side it's driven me to uh, pursue the digital humanities okay interesting so so now uh, tell me uh, you are from uh, like uh, bsc background right so how you will uh, connect your previous knowledge uh, to this uh, current program okay sure sir like i am from the background of mathematics i learned i have the basic mathematics to collaborate with the data applications like data structuring data visualization in digital humanities data is the main thing it will uh, use in everything like uh, if we want to archiving or else uh, textual everything we need data like i am much more interested in data analyzing and data visualizing and also i have a some similar topics like statistics in the uh, bachelors it 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 was very basic concept for every technical skills uh, like learning of any coding language also statistics uh, that statistics provide me the problem solving skills and critical thinking these two skills help me to learn the programming skills too faster i think so yes so uh, what do you mean by you have uh, like you 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 uh, have mentioned that you had subject statistics right so what is the meaning of uh, like uh, uh, mean and median yes sir mean means it's collecting all the observations and to interact the uh, like Uh, taking the overall growth in that observation it is meant by sum of observations by number of observation okay uh, come again uh, repeat that uh, equation once again sum of observations by number of observation yes okay so how it is uh, different from uh, median? median mean how is different from median right yes uh, mean consist of all the come we want to add everything we want to collaborate everything and we will analyze the data in that way and from the median we will assume the middle part of the data we will uh, uh, con- we will arrange the data in a systematic order and we will take a medium medium part from that okay so now uh, the define exact uh, do you know the what is the exact definition of uh, median sorry sir like uh, uh, i I'm not okay it's fine so now tell me uh, so that you are going to study like a uh, digital humanities so what do you mean by this term digital humanities so 
Yes, sir. Digital so humanities. You define that digital humanities. What is digital humanities? Yes, sir. It is the usage of. Uh, uh, it is the collaborative with the technology with the humanities program to learn uh, a skill like uh, to learn the programs like uh, linguistics and the literature and the arts and the society and uh, with the combination with the digital tools like uh, data visualizing, data analyzing, and uh, social network analyzing, multimodal data analyzing. Hmm. So. Have you like uh, gone through the website of uh, IIT G Digital Humanities? Have you uh, have yes, you sir. visited the course curriculum? Yes, sir. I visited. So, in which area you want to study in future? Suppose we are offering uh, a seat to you. So, in which area you will uh, will you will study? Yes, sir. Uh, I gone through the curriculum and I seen that various programs in that. But I'm mostly interested in social network analysis. It provides the analysis of the data. And also I am from the science background. I'm much more interested in the social data analysis. And it provides me the vast knowledge in analyzing and also using the computational tools as like technical skills as in that. So computational tools in the sense, uh, can you name few tools that uh, you can use uh, for future studies? What are the computational tools? You have mentioned that computational tools. Yes, so computational mean, tools means what? Uh, computational tools in the sense machine learning and uh, data analyzing. These two data kind. analyzing is not the computational tool, right? Uh, machine learning is the maybe the tool. OK. So data analyzing is the process how you will analyze the data. OK, so uh, any other tools that you want to mention? Achha, now tell me uh, that. Uh, yes, definitely you can use the tool uh, to analyze the data. That is a different process. OK, but you I asked you that uh, name the few tools. OK, uh, definitely one tool may be uh, the machine learning process uh, through that you can analyze the data. OK, that is the uh, uh, tool. OK, so similar. Uh, similarly, I want to know that uh, is there any other tool so that you can analyze the data. For your future research. Multimodal data analysis. What is multi uh, modal data analysis? What is that? Multimodal analyzing data means we can gather the data from different topics from the text, from the images, from the audio, and also from the mm -hmm. some databases which provided in the online sources right now. Yes. So for that, which tool you will use? All these are process. Okay. You will collect the data, but what is the exact tool? That like just like machine learning is a is a tool. Okay. It's a program. OK, so I am asking, uh, is there any other tool like do you know the other tools that can be used for the for these uh, multimodal data analysis to analyze the data? OK, something like that. OK, so now tell me, do you have any uh, coding experience? No, sir, I not have any coding experience, but I'm learn I'm started right now, but I will sure I will learn in future. Yes. So yes, any coding uh, language, OK, like uh, Python, OK, like R language, all these are tool. OK, so you can you can use that uh, that uh, tool to analyze the data. OK, you can collect the data. You have to formulate or you have to design the code part and then you can run that code and you will analyze the data. So you will get the result. OK, suppose if you are able to uh, do that, like to run the uh, uh, correlation regression or regression analysis, so then you have to use that uh, statistical part and you should have knowledge about uh, this part also. OK, so uh, analyzing part. OK, so thus you can analyze the data, but multimodal analysis is not the data analysis, right? So it's OK, it's fine. So now tell me, that how you will contribute, how you will contribute uh, to the department? Yes, sir. Like uh, uh, my research part is social network analyzing. It consists mm -hmm. of climate controls and also a migration of the people process. I will collect data from the different parts in online, like in the process of organization, 
process of NGOs and also some uh, national institutes which release data. And mm -hmm. I will work on and uh, uh, I will work on this process of a climatic change and uh, immigrant of the people. Okay. So now uh, tell me one more uh, thing that you know uh, that. Uh, uh, do you do you do you have any idea about archiving? Have you yes, heard sir. this term? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. What I is hear. that? Yeah, archiving is the process of collecting, preserving, and uh, uh, like uh, keeping. Like uh, what is that? Collecting the data and preserving the data and analyzing data, and also it is the out for the researchers to take the data for their researching. And it has the three types of like there's a several types in that text archiving, image archiving. And also audio archiving. For the text mm -hmm. archiving, there's a text mapping tool is used to analyze the mm -hmm. text archiving, and uh, we can it can be used in the internet archiving. There's a lots of data in the internet uh, to collected to use by the researchers. And also image archiving. It is the user for the history and also the culture of the data, culture of the people. And it will be used for the researchers to take this data and also use in that. Uh, in that American Library is one of the uh, institute has the mm -hmm. image archiving and also a audio archiving. It is the consist of audios to be constructed and uh, to be used in the film, like in the process of cinemas, and also mm -hmm. a old music in the cultural aspects. Okay, so now Prithvi, tell me uh, that uh, so the program name is Digital Humanities. Why now uh, the humanities is now being called? Uh, digital. What is why uh, people are using that uh, humanities uh, is a way in a way that it is a digital humanities. Why people are uh, why people are saying this? Like uh, uh, humanities is the contribution of the part of uh, people and the society and the culture and their uh, their aspects, their behavior. So even everyone is learning of the new skills. They are doing researches from one uh, one form of process to the another form of process. To, uh, like humanities is the vast subject, it will be there in the documents and also in this some part of cultures. We are making this process to contribute to the every cell, contribute to the everyone. Like we are keeping this data, we are keeping this data into the digital for the researchers to take their process of research from to take their data from this part. Okay, so uh, Prithvi, thank you. So all the best. OK, so you may uh, leave. OK. Can I leave, sir? Yeah.